I'll, I'll begin with a, a couple questions, and then I, I want to hear from the rest of the committee. Um, this issue of the estate tax is probably an issue that I hear of and about when I'm back home probably as much, if not more, than any other issue. I spend a lot of time, as many members of Congress do, speaking to small business owners, and this is always top of mind with them. Uh, why is that? Well, because they feel it. There's a real negative impact. Mr. Flesher, you said it. I'm going to borrow that line from you. My estate is my company. Uh, bingo. I hear that constantly. So this is a tax that directly impacts small business owners. Uh, the other reason, though, why I think this tax is such a big tax with people back home is just philosophically, it, it makes people scratch their heads. Uh, look, we're, we're, we're taxed when we make money. We're taxed when we grow businesses. We're taxed when we buy things. We're taxed when we invest. <coughs> when we die? Just the thought that when we die, Miss Madonia, when your dad works his tail off for 30 to 40 years to grow a business, why, why does the government get to put their hands on any of that money. I think it's the broader philosophical question that annoys a lot of people, even people who aren't impacted by this tax. I hear that constantly. It, uh, the amount of money that the government raises with this tax is not a large amount. But the headaches that we put people through to do it is just amazing to me. Um, can anybody answer that question? Just philosophically, what's, what's the rationale for this tax? Let's, uh, and like everything in Washington, we get right down into the X's and the O's. Well, we can improve it. We need to extend it by five years, drop the exemption down to here, maybe. I don't even want to play that game. Uh, I, I won't with my questioning. Why do we even have this tax? Can anybody make the, the case on principle that it's a good thing for the government to take money from you when you die. Anybody want to take a stab at that? Mr. Katz, you know you're itching to answer. <laughs> I'm not sure that I can necessarily answer it philosophically, but I think that I can at least give some insight as to the historical perspective of it. I think when the estate tax was, <coughs> was first enacted, there was, a, there was a tremendous sense of needing it for a redistribution of wealth, for avoiding uh, some of the accumulation, the mass accumulation of wealth by some of the larger uh, land-owning and, and wealth-owning families in the country. And I think to some extent the estate tax has survived all of these years not based upon its economic impact upon the tax coffers, if you will, but it has survived based upon the theory that there needs to be some way to move wealth from those that continue to accumulate it to those why? other. Why? Why? I think to some extent it's the same reason why there is, why there is larger income tax rates on people who earn more money. It's the same theory that you know, goes back years and years of, of trying to move money down to fund social projects, to be able to have funds available to help those who haven't, for whatever reason, been able to help themselves. And I think to some extent the estate tax has the same impact as the progressive income tax. Well, I think you're right, and I think the reason this resonates with people is because of when it occurs. I mean, that's basically the basis for most taxes in this country. But this really hits, this hits a number of intersections because you're talking about something so personal, so intimate, a family's death, a business owner's death, and at that moment, here comes the hand of government in to grab something. Ms. Rolnick, is there, is there any I, just overarching justification, anything you want to add? To what? I basically agree with Mr. Katz. Basically, it was set up to go ahead and prevent certain families from accumulating the most amount of wealth and the most amount of power, and therefore um, going ahead and allowing two classes of people, those with and those without. So 
the world now has changed because now we're at a point where Miss Madonia said, and how poignant is this? If something happened to my dad, we'd have to sell the business. How in God's name have we gotten to that point in this country? Maybe with the best of intentions, we have this thing called the death tax where you have to look a member of Congress in the face and say, if something happens to your dad, you're going to have to sell your business. How is that a good thing? How is that a good thing? And so is the answer, Mr. Flesher, Ms. Madonia, I'll let you two chime in here, is the answer to tinker with it so that maybe your dad, maybe your family doesn't have to pay that consequence, tinker with it, improve it? Or has the world changed that now so impacts small business owners that we should just get rid of it? Mr. Flesher. Well, I support a full repeal. Uh, I've paid income tax over the life of my equipment, uh, and I've paid uh, state sales tax to the state every time I run a piece of equipment. We've been taxed over and over again on the life of that equipment and my entire business. Um, uh, I don't believe we should be taxed again. Uh, we support the current bill because we think that's a possibility. Uh, and we think that would uh, help the majority of our members in ARA. Ms. Madonia, what's your thought or recommendation there? I guess I would just um, share a story. I have a nephew. Uh, we, our family business is uh, my parents, my sisters. Um, we have a next generation of, of eight grandkids. And one of those grandkids said at one point, when we talk a lot about this in our family, and one of them said, to um, my, my dad, uh, why, why would I want to do this? Why would I want to start my own business? Why would I want to work really hard like you have if it's just going to be taken away from me when I'm done? Why, why not just be another guy? Why not just work for somebody else? And that's <coughs> really sad. I mean, we're, you know, this is the United States of America. It's the land of opportunity. It's where people can have a dream and, and turn it into reality and, and to discourage that in any way. And I think the estate tax is a major discourage a major discouragement to that, and uh, I, I just think it's fundamentally wrong. Well, and, and you, you are right in that studies would buttress your argument. Uh, the estate tax has a major negative impact on entrepreneurial activity, and again, that just makes sense. If you're going to, uh, again, work your tail off year after year to grow a business, and then, and then as you all mm -hmm. said, you need to begin to play this game, Mr. Katz, where every year you've got to spend money to figure out how, when, when, when the ultimate happens, you can, as much as possible, pass money down to your kids and your family. You have to spend resources to try to do that. Uh, that's that's mind-boggling to me. I will end there and turn to Ranking Member Schrader for his questions. Sir. 